Welcome to Slam Fire. Today we're going to be talking about the Stag Arms AR-15. But before we do anything, let's first make sure that the rifle is not loaded. Alright. Magwell clear. Chamber clear. Alright, let's get to it. So like I said, this rifle is manufactured by Stag Arms. <clears throat> it shoots a 5.56 or 223, which is this little guy right here. It's semi-automatic, and that means that every time you pull the trigger, it'll fire one round. This bad boy has a range up to uh, 400 to 600 meters, which is not bad at all, especially for just target shooting. If you want to get a little bit more distance out of this guy, I recommend going with a 20-inch uh, or 24-inch barrel. This is a 16-inch barrel on this guy. This is the Model 1, and it's pretty standard issue. Everything from a uh, flash hider down to the stock is pretty standard issue on this rifle. So uh, why don't we start from from the flash hider. This is an A2 birdcage flash hider and uh, it's called birdcage because as you can see it kind of looks like a birdcage. Uh, working our way down the barrel you can see how the barrels cut away right here. <laughs> the sole purpose for that is so that you can mount a grenade launcher under your rifle right there. and. Uh, I highly doubt that most of you are going to be running out there and mounting grenade launchers onto your rifle, so this isn't completely necessary. But for the sake of um, kind of being true to the military style of the rifle, it's just kind of cool for it being there. And uh, <clears throat> barrel, the rifling in the barrel is a uh, one nine twist, and if you don't know what that means, that means that uh, the bullet will spin around one time completely every nine inches. So that's the twist that it has, and that's that's pretty good. Uh, the sight, its uh, front sight is an A2 fixed front sight. There's like absolutely no play at all. And that's very nice. I really like that. Uh, working down the rifle, <clears throat> your upper receiver is an A3 flat top railed upper. And as you can see, I have a, a carry handle rear sight on here, and this uh, comes with the rifle. But all you have to do is unscrew this guy, it comes right off, and there you have your rails. So if you want to go ahead and mount optics on that, feel free. You can put anything from a red dot, a hollow sight, uh, to a scope, or anything, magnifier. So that's really nice because it just gives you that option to do a, you know, whatever you want with it. Here you have your dust cover. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the dust cover kind of does exactly what it name implies. It keeps dust and dirt and sand and grime out of your rifle, uh, you know, which isn't completely necessary for target shooting. But you know, I mean, especially if you target shoot indoors, then you don't really need that. But it's still nice to have, you know, if you are outside, then uh, you know, you can keep the dirt out of your rifle. This thing also has a functioning forward assist, and if you don't know what the forward assist is, let me show you. Here I have a dummy round. Put that in the chamber. Okay. All right. If you can see there, the bolt hasn't gone forward all the way, and that can happen when uh, you get sand or dirt or gunk in your in your um, action area right here in the chamber. That can happen. Uh, so I mean, basically, the forward assist is meant for more of combat situations and. Uh, not really target shooting or hunting. I mean, it could be used for hunting. The point is what you do is when this happens, you push on the forward assist right here. And as you can see, it just closed it up. So, you know, it's kind of more of a, uh, I'm in the middle of a firefight. I don't have time to pull out the cleaning kit, you know. So you tap that bad boy and it'll chamber around so you can stay in the fight. So like I said, not necessary for target shooting at all. But for the sake of um, being true to the military rifles, it's nice that it's there. Uh, this rifle also has an A2 pistol grip, uh, you know, which is pretty standard among ARs, M4, M16 rifles, and uh, you know it's pretty comfortable too. I like it at least, you know. Uh, here you have your stock. Your stock is a uh, six-position adjustable stock. It's you know collapsible, also known as uh, telescoping. So, you know, if you have longer arms, you can adjust it, you know, all the way out, and you can just kind of adjust it for whatever's comfortable for you. So that's nice to have on there. 
bad boy has sling mounts at the front and at the rear. It has two of them up front, one on the bottom, one on the side. Uh, the one on the side can be taken off, it looks like, uh, by using tools. I just haven't taken it off because honestly it's just not in my way, so I figure why deal with it. And you have uh, one on the rear, on the stock of the rifle. So yeah, this is uh, definitely a setup for a uh, two-point two sling system. If you want to run a one-point, you're going to have to get a, an end, point, uh, end plate sorry, with a loop on it for uh, attaching a sling. So this rifle, uh, the main body of the rifle, is made out of an alloy material. And the handguard and stock are made out of polymer. So that means that the rifle is very light. And uh, it, you, know, you can shoulder this rifle for a while without getting fatigued. And that's very nice. Just uh, you know, have a rifle so light. So if you're carrying it somewhere, you know, traveling with it, if you uh, want to take it hunting or take it hiking with you for protection, you can definitely do that. And even just for the sake of lining up a shot and not having all that weight, you know, making it difficult for you to line up your shot. That's very nice. This rifle is also uh, completely 100% mil spec, which is fantastic. So if you want to mount, uh, put a stock on here that's a mil-spec stock, you're ready to do that. You don't have to change out the buffer tube or anything. You know, that might be a problem if you are looking for an end plate, though, uh, because I, at least where I've looked, I haven't really found too many that are, are mil-spec that also won't get in your way. Uh, so be on the lookout for those if you want to run a one-point sling. But yeah, that's basically it for um, kind of the physical makeup of the rifle. I guess now uh, all there is to do is go shoot it. Let's do it. Alright, so we're here on the range. We're going to see how this thing works. Alright, here we go. Alright, so it uh, appears to be working wonderfully, of course, because it's stag. So uh, the recoil, not that bad. It's pretty easy to handle, you know, I mean, it's not too much. So if you're kind of recoil sensitive, this is a good gun. And uh, it's accurate, you know, I mean, my shooting skill aside, you know, it's, it'll get what, you know, it'll get the lead down there and get it on target. And yeah. It's a great gun. Whew. All right, well there you have it. The rifle shoots great, it feels great. There's not much recoil at all, so it's easy to maintain. Uh, it's just all around a great rifle. And when you get this rifle, you uh, actually get a few things with it, which is nice. You don't just get the rifle. It comes with a, a carrying case, just like this has a nice little stag sticker on it. It's a pretty narrow case, but I found that you can actually fit a lot in here. You know, I can fit the rifle, a couple mags, the sight, you know, the grip, uh, forward grip, uh, vert grip, lights, strobe, you know, flashlight, laser, whatever you want. It all fits in here, so it's pretty roomy and I like that. It also comes with uh, one 30 round magazine, this bad boy here, nice uh, standard mag. You also get, of course, your gun lock and, uh, you know, papers, flyers, sticker. Uh, but I would have to say the most important thing that you get with this rifle is this. A mouse pad. Stag Arms mouse pad. This is very important. Do not lose this. You need this. It's actually not too important. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Shoot safe. Maybe just a little bit more. See you next time.